Electric again. So, on this episode of Trend Sled Adventures, uh, we're gonna be heading over now, this time, to the Cody Owasco compound. He's, uh, he's been putting in a lot of work over there, getting all his ramps set up, built some new landings. Uh, the kid's pretty amazing on the sled as well, so uh, stay tuned and uh, check it out. So I just want to say thanks to everybody that uh, has watched my last video there, episode 2. I know they're not the best uh, videos out there. I'm working on that, that's for sure. I'm always learning something new every video I make, so I just want to keep producing videos, keep bringing you guys content. Everybody's heard about the bird. Cheap right now. Woo! That makes life a little easier in the sledding world. I think we just spent about uh, 16 bucks and uh, we're on our way now to do some sledding. Filming's on point, got the GoPros rolling, we got the cannon set up. Our shit's happening over here. This ain't no low budget shit. My eyes all healed up, not a little bit. Smashed my face off the bars at the uh, shitty Nick's house, but that's okay. We're back out of here. So, uh, put your seatbelt on and hold tight. Thought you had the heat on. So, how has the transition from dirt bikes to sleds been? Been uh, quite something. It's uh, more like, uh, you know, wrestling a refrigerator out there, really. So, how's that uh, trail sled of yours been uh, holding up on the ramps there, Cody? No, that uh, it is uh, definitely uh, it's an XRS, uh, XP RS. And so far, we're getting all the problems worked out and doing a bunch of different uh, farmer modifications to get her braced up. Once I got the, the brace skid in and, uh, and the box shocks, it really made a huge difference. Now, uh, yeah, just getting everything dialed in here. And